Hi students, in this session we will discuss about the coupling of LED and laser source with fibers. That is coupling of sources with fibers. To understand the mechanism of launching of optical power from an optical source into an optical fiber, it is necessary to know the radiation pattern of the emitted light. Usually, the radiation pattern of the optical source is generally characterized in terms of brightness or radiance of the source. Actually, the radiance of the source is a measure of the optical power radiated by the source per unit area. And the radiation pattern of surface emitting LED is a Lambertian pattern. And we have discussed about the Lambertian pattern. And in the case of Lambertian pattern, the source will be appears to be equally bright when viewed from any direction. And the intensity of the light is directly proportional to the cosine of the viewing angle. So, in the case of Lambertian pattern, the brightness can be written by the equation or radiance can be written by the equation B of theta comma phi is equal to B0 into cos theta. And here you, we are representing the radiance pattern by using the spherical coordinate system and R theta phi are the coordinates in the case of spherical coordinate system. So, we will use an expression for radiance B of theta comma phi equal to B0 cos theta. So, if we are using a Lambertian source here and its Lambertian pattern will be looking like this. And this is the maximum of the brightness or radiance that is B0. And this is B0 cos theta that is making an angle theta with B0. So, here is the radiation pattern of different optical sources. First is the radiation pattern uh, of LED and it is a Lambertian pattern like this. You can see here. And that means if a source is placed here, radiation pattern will be, radiations will be going in this manner. That means like this. Radiation will be going like this. See here. So, for the case of a laser, the radiation pattern will be like that, like this. That means in the case of laser, it produces highly directional light. That means uh, comparing to the LED, it produces a highly directional light. See here, this is the radiation pattern of LED. Sorry, laser. This is the radiation pattern of laser and this will be the radiation pattern of LED. Okay. So, the radiation pattern of laser is complex because it is very highly directional. So, the radiance equation for the laser source is this that is B of theta comma phi is equal to sin square phi divided by B0 cos raised to n theta plus cos square phi divided by B0 cos raised to m theta where n and m are integers. Thus are, uh, these integers are called transverse and lateral power dis distribution coefficients. And here theta and phi are coordinates used in the spherical coordinate system. And next we will discuss about the power launching from the source to the fiber. So, uh, we will discuss about the power launching from the uh, uh, LED or laser source to the fiber. And here is the equation uh, for the uh, power from the zo uh, source to the fiber. Here is the Pf equal to integral Af into dAs integral omega f into B, A, B of As comma omega s into uh, D of omega s. Where? As this is the power launched into the fiber uh, by the source that is Pf. So, A uh, that is limited by the area Af of the um, fiber. So, the uh, complete power delivered from the source will not be coupled into the fiber. So, it will be limited by the fiber area Af. That is why we are taking the integral Af. And As is the solid um, angle of the source. And omega, omega, sorry, omega S is the solid emission angle uh, and um, S is the area of the source. That means the S represents the um, emission area uh, of the source and B is the radiance or brightness. And power coupled um, uh, uh, to the fiber will be limited by the area AF. And he, uh, this figure shows the coupling of the um, source to the fiber. And here is the source is placing here. Suppose this is a um, uh, source. And uh, suppose if it is an edge emitting LED, then um, uh, the active area is shown here and the radiation pattern will be like this. So, if you are placing a fiber here, so these radiations will be coupled to this fiber and some radiations are lost. See, 
most of uh, radiation uh, the light will sh should ha travel through the core and some radiation will be lost in the um, cladding and um, outside region we can see here but if you are using highly directional source um, like laser it's a, it has got a high directivity so the radiation will be moving in this manner so most of the uh, radiations will be directed to the fiber core itself in the case of laser but in the case of led here this is the um, source of led and here in the case of led the sum of the light radiations will be lost in the um, outside regions of core so uh, this figure explains correctly the uh, coupling of the laser so uh, sorry coupling of the led with the fiber so this will be the acceptance angle you can see here this will be the acceptance angle um, for the fiber so the light rays coming under this acceptance angle will be received by this fiber and other light rays or radiations will be lost so you can see that in the case of led the acceptance uh, the light coupled into the fiber will be small a smaller portion of the led light will be coupled into the fiber core but in the case of laser most of the light will be coupled into this fiber core um, since it is very highly directional so the power coupled into the uh, power of the led coupled into the single mode fiber is given by the equation pi square rs square into bc into na square where na is the numerical aperture of the fiber and rs is the radius of the where rs represents the radius of the um, emission pattern uh, of the source and for uh, we know that if, if the refracting if if the refracting index of core and cladding um, are approximately same then the, we can replace um, the numerical aperture by using the equation n1 into root 2 into delta where delta is a relative refracting index so we will get the equation for um, uh, power coupled um, into the single mode fiber fr um, from the source led will be equal to 2 pi square rs square into bc rho into n1 square into delta so uh, this will be uh, become power um, pf of led si will be equal to a by rs square whole rs whole square into ps into na whole square where rs greater than um, a here the radius of the emission pattern will be greater than the um, radius of uh, radius of the core a in the case of led uh, the emission pattern radius will be greater than the um, radius of the core and here PA is the optical power. Suppose PA is the optical um, PA is the optical power emitted by the source, and sorry, this is the PS is the optical power emitted by the that is PS is the optical power emitted by the source, and A is the core radius of the fiber, and optical power emitted by the source PS is given by the equation pi square into R S square into B zero, where B zero is the radiance or brightness of the source, and R S is the radius of the Mm, emission pattern by the source and ps is the this is ps equal to that is ps is the power emitted by the optical power emitted by the source so in the case of graded index fiber the power coupled into the graded index fiber from the source led will be equal to 2 pi square rs square into b0 square into n1 square into delta into 1 minus 2 by alpha plus 2 into rs by a all raised to alpha where alpha is the profile parameter in the case of graded index fiber and n1 is the refractive index of the core the delta is the relative refractive index and ps is the uh, power emitted from the source and a is the radius of the um, core next is the Fresnel reflection loss and we know that the complete light emitted from the source will not be coupled into the coupled into the fiber there will be um, some um, loss in the case of uh, coupling and that means a perfect coupling between the source and fiber is possible when the medium between the source and the fiber has the refracting index that is n1 that is same as that of the core of the fiber so if the core of the fiber has a refracting index n1 and the, if the medium between the source and the core have a refracting index n1 itself then the perfect coupling occurs and if there is a difference in refracting index then the fraction of the power will be reflected back from the interface of the fiber and source so that reflection loss 
is given by the equation R is equal to N1 minus N0 divided by N1 plus N0 whole square where R is the Fresnel reflection or reflectivity at the end phase of the fiber core and the coupled power can be expressed by the equation P coupled will be equal to in such cases if there is a loss then coupled power is equal to 1 minus R into power emitted by the source and the power loss at the interface can be expressed in terms of dB as L dB power loss will be equal to minus 10 log power coupled divided by power emitted that will be equal to minus 10 log 1 minus R you should by heart these equations and it will be useful for doing problem so this is the reflection loss it is called Fresnel reflection loss um, and this is um, occurs when the um, coupling is not perfect so for in order to Im improve the coupling um, coupling or uh, in order to improve the max improve the coupling of the light from the source to the fiber different coupling schemes are used and here is the diagram of coupling uh, schemes and first one is the butt coupling and in the case of butt coupling um, you can see here that the source will be placed symmetrical to that of the fiber that will be um, uh, the butt coupling and in the uh, it will be um, placed close to each other in the case of butt coupling and uh, next one is the hemispherical end coupling that means the fiber end will be um, made to a hemisphere like this and uh, the source will be placed nearer to that of the um, uh, this the source will be placed um, placed uh, near to the fiber in the case of hemispherical end and in the case of non imaging microsphere uh, there is a um, lens of uh, microsphere lens will be placed in between the fiber and the source and the, uh, they will be in contact with each other and there is another technique of imaging sphere and it is of large size and that will be placed between the source and the fiber there will be a space between this um, two this is imaging sphere um, imaging sphere coupling improvement scheme and there is another scheme that is trun that is truncated aspherical lens is placed between the source and the fiber and usually this lens is made by silicone so this is our, these are the coupling improvement schemes and this will this lens placement will help to couple the most of the power couple the most of the power from the source to the fiber so in the case of butt coupling the fiber end phase is symmetrically placed on the emitting area of the source and the coupling can be improved by placing the micro lens between the source emitting surface and the front end of the fiber see this is the butt coupling scheme and these all are the lens micro lens placed schemes usually we are using the micro uh, micro lenses in order to um, improve the coupling efficiency and if the source is placed here micro lens will be placed in between the uh, source and the um, fiber very close to each other and this micro lens will help to um, most help to couple most of the power from the source into the fiber core and in the case of uh, this uh, coupling efficiency will be um, given by the equation eta equal to af divided by as into na square into 1 minus r all raised to n where as is the area of the source emission um, pattern and af is the area of the fiber and uh, also the um, for the circular emitting area eta equal to um, a by rs all square into na square into 1 minus r n all raised to n where n is the refractive index of the core and rs is the radius of the emi emission area of the source and a is the radius of the core na is the refractive index and r is the Fresnel reflection loss and uh, uh, and uh, in the case of uh, laser also we will use the uh, same coupling scheme like uh, micro lenses are used in the case of lasers also and uh, in the case of laser you know that the laser beam is highly directional so maximum coupling that is up to a level of 100 percentage coupling will be um, uh, possible in the case of uh, laser sources and in the case of uh, lasers the micro lenses are often fabricated by tapering the fiber end uh, down to a point and melting mm, uh, melting and also mm, uh, if in the case of examination if you are asked for mm, uh, writing the so coupling of the laser source to the fiber you will uh, write the uh, laser equations 
only and if you are asked for led you you should write the led coupling alone and i have discussed the led and laser together so you should write according to the question okay that's all about this topic thank you